President Moisey did go to Tehran and condemn Bashar Assad, which was a pleasant uh, turn of events. Did, did he condemn uh, Israel? Did he condemn Iran when he was there? No. He, did he? Uh, what was the purpose for that meeting, except probably to align with Iran and their hatred for Israel? Well, I know this: that uh, Egypt is the heart and soul of the Arab world. Uh, it is not in our interest to see it travel down the path towards radical Islamic extremism. It's not in our interest to see al-Qaeda gain a foothold there. And I think that we have to carefully calibrate whether our assistance will help or hurt. There's obviously there needs to be a re-examination of our relationship with Egypt as a result of what happened in the last few days. But at the same time, uh, to just cut off all aid and cut off all relations with Egypt, I think, is not an appropriate move, to tell you the truth. How is it that Sean Hannity and a few others of us out here predicted with pinpoint accuracy that the Muslim Brotherhood would be in charge in Egypt. Their first task when they took over the parliament was to declare Israel, our closest ally, uh, an enemy. First, their, their number one enemy. How is it that the administration, with all their intelligence and all the money we spend to help them and the CIA, how is it they didn't see this coming and they kept telling the American people, this is democracy, democracy. I don't view the Muslim Brotherhood as democracy. They want Sharia law implemented now in Egypt. Well, first of all, it's, uh, that's not clear that that's true. But also, it was you and people on Fox that said, in Libya, we didn't know who they were, and let's not help these people. They had an election, and they elected moderates. They rejected Islamists. And yes, there are al-Qaeda factors, and there are extremists in Libya today, but the Libyan people are friends of ours, and they support us, and they support democracy. I don't so remember. You were wrong about, so you were wrong about Libya. I don't think I was wrong about Libya at all. I yes, said, I do. No, I, I know you were. No, I was not I know wrong. You they had a free and fair election, and a democratic, non-Islamic government was elected. And, so and, you were and, wrong. All right. So while it was all happening, right. look what we have. I always say, what are you going to replace it with? What are you going to replace Egypt with? They didn't think the Muslim Brotherhood would take over. We're giving, this is a known terror organization. We say we're fighting a war on terror. We're apologizing our government to Egypt after they raid our embassy and rip our flag down. Frankly, Senator, I, I would think you're with me on this. I am not uh, taking the side of the administration. I am saying that the largest nation in the Arab world is something we have to carefully calibrate our actions with. 